Yes. Are you Pepe, my son? Yes, I am. The horse doctor? Yes. I want you to remove my other navel through a surgical operation. Because if I will give birth, where would be the other umbilical cord be connected? And I don't want to be a freak when I have to undress for my husband. I'm already 30 years old and has been married an hour ago. Okay, we'll see to it. Pepe talked to Senora Vidal and discovered from her that Connie was lying. Don't listen to her. She's lying to you. She has only one neighbor. She's not 30 years old, but she's only 18. And guess what? She's not married a morning before she consulted you, but a year ago. To sum it all up, I forced Connie to marry Machu Escobar. She upsets me due to her father's humor. I forced her to marry a man she doesn't love. And now, she's after a band leader. She's chasing Paco Teixeira. But Paco is married to Mary, and we're friends since grade school. After talking to Senora Vidal, Pepe went to Texeras. He found out that Paco had been to Manila playing with his band. One day, when Paco was waiting for Senora Concha in her house, he found Connie and from that moment on, he started wanting Connie. Connie had watched Paco perform in the clubs until one night, there were people fighting and someone had got shot. Because Connie was shocked, Paco comforted her. Until some weeks, Paco drove Connie to his hotel. He was about to rape her, but they ended up fighting instead. After two days, Paco went back to Hong Kong. Meanwhile, in the art shop of Rita Lopez and Helen Silva, Rita received a call from Pepe, her husband. <laughs> Darling, um, we will have a dinner with Paco and Mary in Tava Ridge. Yes, later tonight. Okay, darling. In Tava Ridge, they met Alfonso, a band leader who is seeking a pianist and a singer. Paco applied and got hired. The next thing they knew, Pepe found Connie Escobar naked inside the club. Bye. Are you alright? What happened? It feels so depressed. After that short talk, Pepe told Rita to go home without him. You should go home without me. What? Connie needs me. When they got in the hotel, Connie saw Macho inside. Macho is inside, and I don't want to see him. He had many girls. One of them is my mother, and I found the love letters. So... Pepe decided to let her sleep in Rita's place, which made Rita angrier. Go tell Macho that I am sick and I don't want to see him. Okay. Macho, Connie is sick and she doesn't want to see you. I knew that she knows about my affair with her mother, but it is only in the past. When Pepe went home, they didn't find Connie in the sofa. She was gone. In Chinese New Year, Connie visited Father Tony Monson. I have two navels, but I'm horrified and grateful at the same time. You should see an older priest, Father Friar. Meanwhile, Senora Vidal saw Father Tony in Rita's shop. Tony is just lying, 
is it silly? No, it is serious. You know what? The reason why I forced Connie to marry Macho Escobar is because I hate her for preventing me to run off with him. I am planning to ruin her. Stop that nonsense. The Munson brothers found Connie in their apartment. Macho wants to start a gender beer. My two navels will only scare him away. And I want you to see that I actually had two. You only have one. Connie's delusional world broke apart. Connie ran away. On her way, she remembered her bitter past and saw hallucinations of her family's destruction. When Connie was five years old, she threw Minnie away and lied that it was stolen to have Biliken. When she was 11 years old, she was able to possess Biliken. At 14 years old, Connie was evacuated because of the war. At 15 years old, they returned to their ruined house and found Biliken having two black holes in its stomach, making it look like two navels. She realized that her childhood was nothing as she thought it was, that it never was happy. Senora Concha, Connie is dead. Macho showing his love for Connie looked for her body during the storm. Tony felt guilty and ended his priesthood. Rita got angry because she knew that Connie is not dead. She was angry because Paco and Connie had run away leaving their partners behind. In the final moments before Connie's car flew up the cliff, Connie was able to escape and decided to live a peaceful life with Paco. They decided to go to Macau. At the end, Macho shot Concha, then himself, and they both died.